Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. My name is Lissette Silberman from the CG School. Today we're going to be going over Web Design Intermediate with Dreamweaver. And uh, this webinar is a preview of what you will learn at CG School. Remember, the early bird deadline for these classes are coming up. So this is your last opportunity to receive $300 off the class. For more information, check out the schedule at www.thecgschool.com. Today we're going to be going to, through how to create a basic web page with Adobe Dreamweaver and Fireworks using HTML and CSS. Now there's two ways to create layouts. There's table-based layout and there's a CSS-based layout. Uh, in today's webinar, we're only going to be focusing on the CSS-based layout since it's the most commonly used type of layout on the web today. Uh, it's easy to design and maintain and produces clean semantic code. Table-based layout is mostly used nowadays for creating emails, so it's still important, but CSS-based layout is what we're going to be doing today, and in my class, we'll be learning both. Um, so we'll be starting off with our layout, and it's a very basic layout um, with just, you know, logo, header, uh, we've got our navigation, three boxes, and a footer, okay? There's two types of layouts when, when we're dealing with CSS-based layout. There's a fixed width page layout, which in this type of layout, basically the, the page is displayed in the center, and it's, it's only a fixed width. So, for example, here, this is 951 pixels wide. So we're going to be using the fixed width page layout. In a fluid layout, unlike fixed width, the layout you know, it, it changes depending on the browser size and, and the user's screen. So um, moving forward, we're going to be doing this fixed width layout. So the first thing that we have to do is we opened up uh, Adobe Fireworks, and I like Adobe Fireworks because it lets you optimize uh, the images within, you know, it's, it's very, very easy to, to optimize images and, and uh, create also multiple pages for a site. Uh, so we're going to start off here. On the, on the left, there's a slice tool. And actually, before we start that, let's set up our, our uh, rulers. So we're going to create rulers on both sides of this to define where we're going to be cutting. So we have the logo here. And all you got to do is you grab the slice tool and select what you're going to be slicing. Okay, so for the logo, go to Window, Optimize. And here it gives you the option to optimize as a JPEG or a GIF, which we're going to be choosing a GIF because it's only a couple colors. Okay, let's put this to the side. Now, we have our navigation. And we have to think about the structure of our page and how we're going to set it up. So this navigation in CSS is going to be, you know, a background and the links above it. So what we're going to do is just right here, give it a little snippet. Now let's, let's zoom in so make sure we get the whole thing. We just capture the background here. And that's what's going to be used in the CSS file for the navigation. We have a background, a slight background, on these boxes. So again, we're just going to cut the background right here. And that's pretty much it. Everything else you see on this page is going to be driven by the CSS. So let's export these images. There we go. Okay, and we're going to create a folder in here called Images. And I like to structure my pages, make sure there's folders for everything, a folder for my CSS, a folder for my images, um, so that everything's organized. So the first image that we're exporting is the logo. It's going to be called Logo. The second image is going to be a JPEG, and here you can work with the quality. You know, 
don't want to lose too much quality. And if you want, you can actually see a preview as you're optimizing what, what it's going to look like. So if you need to keep your website to a certain amount, usually with emails, that's, that's usually the case. You want to try to optimize your pages. Um, you know, you can put, mess with the quality here. So for the purpose of this page, we're just going to make it high quality. Uh, and we right click to export the slice. I don't know why it's taking a moment. There we go. And we'll call this nav background. And I like to give my image name and my file name something really simple that, you know, later on you'll you'll know exactly what it is. Because if you name it image one or image two, you don't know where, uh, you know, what it corresponds to. So, you know, let me make sure you see. Pixel by pixel, I want to make sure that I'm getting the entire background. We right click, export slice, and that will be called box background. Okay, so as far as the image portion of creating the site, we've exported all the images that we're, we're going to be using and now we're going to be translating this design into an HTML page. So we'll start with the basic HTML structure and before we go to that we open up Dreamweaver and let's create a site for this. So we go site, new site and we'll call this CG school class and we'll define the root folder which was the HTML folder that I had created with the images in there and we'll save. Okay, so now we have our images and everything set up in that folder. We open up the folder again I'm going to create a new folder for the CSS. So as far as the structure we have a CSS folder, an images folder, and then we're going to have the pages on the root of that folder. So we go and we go to Dreamweaver and we put File, New, and we're just going to do a blank page from scratch. Let's pay a blank page from scratch. HTML, there we go. Blank page, HTML, no layouts. So with that, and we have code view, split view, and design view. We're going to be using split view. The split view on the left, we have all the code, and on the right is the editor, which lets you see what the code looks like. Very important, it declares the, top, the doc type, and that's the correct doc type that we want to be declaring. Um, and we give this page a title. And this title will be CG School webinar class. Now, if we go back to the design. We want to create a very basic structure and it has logo, header, nav bar, three boxes, and the footer. Before we can get into that, I want to talk to you a little bit about CSS. The box model is an important thing to remember because whenever we're giving something a set width, we have to always make sure that we include the margins, the border, the padding, and the content. And we'll go into this a little bit later when we do those boxes, but just keep that in mind as we start our CSS file. So here we're going to start with and everything goes in the body tag. div id equals container and we close the div. 